We are very excited about technologies like DNA Center to dramatically augment how people work with technology to drive a mass multiplier in the effectiveness of how they can service clients and how they can bring technology to be more flexible and more adaptable to what's going on in the world of cloud and digital. We talk about this overall concept as being the digital network platform, really taking technology from hardware components into an abstracted software layer that integrates end to end to provide policy, to provide security, performance and automation. And so let me turn things over to my colleague Mutaher to walk you through what that looks like. So what we're going to do in the demo today is essentially show how DNA Center can detect a device that's out of compliance and through ServiceNow, turn the device back into compliance. So as part of the first phase is essentially for DNA to detect that the device is out of compliance and that's what the process flow is currently showing. DNA Center has detected that the device has gone out of compliance and is going to send an event message to ServiceNow with the remediation action. So the remediation action is going to trigger an activity in ServiceNow to create a change. It's going to be a standard change which, serv which ServiceNow is going to automatically open and fill in some of the key characteristics. ServiceNow has created the change, has started to auto-populate some of the basic information required to execute a device software image upgrade. So what we are seeing in the swim layer now is that is the part of the process which is executing the change approval flow. The change is, has been created and ServiceNow is now going to begin the workflow execution process. So ServiceNow has gone to the schedule mode, it has auto-populated some of the key characteristics, and it's ready to alert DNA to begin the pre-software upgrade check processes. So ServiceNow is doing one more check, which is, has the change window been scheduled? If no, it will cancel out of the change. If yes, it sends a message back to DNA to say, begin the change upgrade process. That phase is known as the implementation phase, and as you can see on the screen, ServiceNow has moved to the implement phase of the workflow. DNA Center has now begun to do the pre-checks for the software upgrade. On the screen, you can see DNA Center executing some standard upgrade processes or checks that would require typically a lot of manual labor. DNA is checking to make sure that the clock is synced with the device, the flash is good to go, and the, the registry check, the registry value is accurate. Well, this is essentially showing how you can take automation and cut down on labor hours, which in case of a thousand devices or more devices for large enterprises, could take significant labor time to do manually. As part of the workflow, DNA has started to push the image down to the device and is going to confirm that the image has been installed and then do the switch over to the new image. So on this screen, DNA is now verifying that the image has been downloaded and the move from the old image to the new image has occurred. As part of the final part of the workflow, DNA Center has now sent a message over to ServiceNow indicating that the change is successful, the cutover has happened, the device has successfully rebooted, and it is now in compliance. And ServiceNow can go in and mark the change as successfully executed. ServiceNow is now going to take the, final, take the final step in the workflow and mark the change as successfully closed. We estimate for routine tasks like iOS upgrades, we're going to save between 80 and 90% of those activities. And again, across thousands of devices that large enterprises have, that's tens of thousands of hours that we save every year. Please visit the Cisco DNA Center Ecosystem Exchange to learn more about our solutions and to contact us. Thank you.